Microbrewer Podcast, Episode Zero. Welcome to Microbrewer Podcast. We talk about everything craft beer related with a focus for people looking at starting their own microbrewery or wanting to take their existing brewery to the next level. Do you love craft beer? Are you fascinated by the variety of flavors in beer and the diversity of breweries? Have you ever wondered what it's like behind the scenes of a working craft brewery? Do you dream of of leaving your job and starting a brewery of your own? Then you are in the right place. I also answer these questions with a yes. I'm Nathan Pierce, the host of Microbrewer Podcast. I just want to give you this heads up. I didn't start Microbrewer. Microbrewer was started by Joe Shellerud. He got all of this off the ground. He did the first 12 episodes of Microbrewer Podcast, and then I took it over from there. So if you listen to the first few episodes and you're not really digging it, bump ahead to episode 14 or so and see whether it resonates with you. Anyway, a little about me. I was working a full-time job. Uh, It was in my field of study. I was getting paid well, and I was doing work that I cared a lot about. It was really important to me, and the benefits were great. Then we had a change in management. Stress levels for me and my coworkers were just blowing up. And my doctor wasn't stoked, so I had to get out of there. They say a job isn't worth your health, so I had to put that theory to test. And just about a month later, I was in my friend's wedding. A couple of the guys from Ninkasi Brewing from Eugene, Oregon, were also in the wedding. So we got to talking, and I asked them about it, and they shared their beer, which wasn't yet distributed in California, so that was cool to get to try it before anyone else. And it all sounded so great. I mean, I'm kind of a fan of Ninkasi, and they've got a pretty exciting brand going on, right? But when I had some time to relax and assess my next move, I knew it would be to open a brewery. I had already been thinking for a while of starting a business, but didn't really know exactly what it was going to be. But after talking with those guys, that was it. So I set out that plan to start a brewery. And there have been some bumps in the road. I'm not really qualified, but but this is my dream. So Microbrewer is a way for me to learn how to do this, how to start a brewery, how to build a brewery that makes great beer that's never been made, and how to get it to others so they can enjoy it too. If you want to learn all this too, then Microbrewer is the right place for you. Microbrewer Podcast is a weekly podcast inspiring people who are planning to start a brewery or wanting to take their existing brewery to the next level. We go deep to get inside the industry and inside the heads of the people who work there. There are interviews with craft brewers and craft brewery owners answering all of your questions about starting your own craft brewery. We don't talk a whole lot about beer. We talk more about the business of beer. Guests share their tips on starting and operating a successful brewery. They share their inspiration with us who are entering the craft beer industry or trying to get our own brewery off the ground. So each of the breweries have a special story to tell, and we showcase that on Microbrewer Podcast. We talk with every sector of the industry, from nanobreweries and local microbreweries and brew pubs to larger regional craft breweries learning how to start a brewery. Some of the past guests on Microbrewer Podcast have included Ninkasi Brewing, Actually, 21st Amendment Brewery, Gordon Biersch, and Anchor Brewing. So here's the flow. Here are some of the questions that we ask the guests. First, there's kind of a general discussion usually uh, to get to know the guests. And then we always ask, what's the biggest mistake you ever made for your brewery? Because we don't want to make the same mistakes too, right? Like may as well learn from somebody else's mistakes. And then we ask, what's the best idea you ever had for your business? Because... Man, these people, collectively, they have like a ton of experience running a brewery and they're willing to share their ideas. We may as well listen to them and see what we can use in our own. And then we also ask, has there been a moment when you realize that you finally succeeded? Because we want to know what that's going to feel like. We want to know what to look forward to. We want to get kind of psyched up, right? And 
get excited about this dream that we have. And then we, you know, there's the reality. The reality sets in. So we got to ask, what's the most important thing for someone starting a brewery? And the guests will just tell us, hey, if you want to start a brewery, this is what you need to start doing right now. We'll always have a surprise question from one of our listeners. And we have other guests, expert from other sectors of the craft beer industry, such as a distributor in an international market or an operator of a local craft beer store, an accountant and operations consultant, and an expert of wastewater management for breweries. So there is so much more to starting and operating a successful brewery, right? Besides just making great beer. So we need to know about all of that. And every episode ends with happy hour. It's a few fun questions to lighten the mood, get to know our guest, and get inside the industry. The stories are really interesting. It's usually pretty fun and always super educational and informative. The episodes are about 30 minutes to an hour long, so you could listen on your commute or wherever, you know. We have listeners in more than 35 countries and all 50 U.S. states. Our audience is made up of entrepreneurs, wantrepreneurs, and people who want to make an impact in the world just like you. So feel free to listen wherever you are, whoever you are. Uh, Hopefully you'll find something here and you're welcome. You can access Microbrewer Podcast on the website, microbrewer.com. It's spelled M-I-C-R-O-B-R-E-W-R. So you drop the last E. But the best place to listen to the podcast is in iTunes or on Stitcher Radio or your favorite uh, podcast app probably because you can subscribe to the show and it'll let you know when there's a new episode. So please subscribe, rate, and review the iTunes, the, the podcast in iTunes or Stitcher. Please give me your honest feedback by leaving a rating and review. That helps me know what works for you what you want to hear on the show and ways to improve. And honestly, it also helps boost the show in the search results too. So other people like you can find the show as well. Lastly, if you like what you hear, you might want to go to the website, microbrewer.com. The website has a blog and other great resources. Plus there are show notes for every episode of the podcast. If you ever miss anything on the podcast or you want to dig deeper into the discussion, there are notes for every episode, which has a brief overview of the show with links and other great resources about the other things that we talked about in the episode. So there's an easy link to go to the show notes for every episode. You just go to microbrewer.com slash session and then the number for the episode. So the show notes for this episode are at microbrewer.com slash session zero. And remember, microbrewer is spelled a little bit weird. It's M-I-C-R-O-B-R-E-W-R dot com, microbrewer dot com slash session zero. You know, one of the things I like most about craft beer is the community that surrounds it. People are so friendly and helpful It's really cool that all the brewers and the brewery owners and the other guests on the show just want to help others start a brewery by sharing their time and their expertise by being on the show. I'd really appreciate your help in spreading the word about Microbrewer Podcast and building the community by telling someone else about it. So share Microbrewer with your social networks. Hook up, connect with us. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped, all those were at Microbrewer. And, um, you know, share us with your social networks as well. And please let me know if you need anything. Let me know if there's any way I can help you in your pursuit to start your own brewery. I know you got the same dream as I do, and I'm learning, I'm learning a lot from doing this podcast. I'll see if there's any way I can help you. I'll help. You can email me through the contact form on the website. It's at microbrewer.com slash contact. Thanks for listening, everybody. I I hope you really enjoy Microbrewer podcast. So until next time, support your local brewery, and we'll see you next week.